Jeff, well, if you've been struggling lately to afford the rising costs of gas, food, and bills, there is a, res a resource for us in Hardin Jefferson area that can help you get some free food. 12 News reporter Kara Willis has details on a food pantry giving out food to families twice a month. Good morning, Kara. Good morning, Tracy. The rise in prices can be a challenge for many struggling families without work or just trying to make ends meet. But thanks to the Hardin Jefferson Hunger Initiative, many of those struggling families won't have to worry about where their next meal will come from. And everyone gets a little down on their luck or has struggles in between jobs. According to the Southeast Texas Food Bank, one in every four children and about 15% of the elderly in Southeast Texas live in poverty. That's why food pantries like the Hardin Jefferson Hunger Initiative are so essential to helping families in need. Joy Walker is the director of the organization. She says her husband, John Walker, founded this organization back in 2017, before he passed away back in 2021. She's keeping his legacy alive by making sure families don't have to struggle to eat. Food insecurities have always been a part uh, of communities, but now we're seeing larger amounts of people feeling a little uncertain if uh, with the food prices, if, you know, gosh, do I buy that box of cereal or, you know, do I need to apply it to a bill? HJHI President Sandra Sherman says the Heart and Jefferson Hunger Initiative is a partner of the Southeast Texas Food Bank. The organization serves around 140 to 150 families a month on the second and third Tuesday of each month by providing boxes of food. We know these people, we know that they're struggling, and especially now, those people who are still out of work, it's just, they have children, it's just, it's, it's heartbreaking really, but then on the other hand, it really makes your heart feel good to know that you are helping, and they are so thankful. To qualify, you must meet income eligibility guidelines or be unemployed. The amount of food you're eligible for is based on your income and household size. When you can extend a hand to help someone, that's wonderful, but it's okay to take a hand extended to you. And also, if you're in need of free medical help, Walker says that there, the Jefferson County Public Health Bus is on site here at the pantry every Tuesday from 9 a.m. to noon. Kara Willis, 12 News.